Hey, what's up, guys? Happy here with some Team... Not, not Team Fortress 2. What the fuck am I on? Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> if you're probably wondering, I'm using Audacity to record now because I finally figured out how to get it to work for me. So now... Yeah. I'm going to change my recording sessions. I'm probably just going to record about an hour, hour 15 minutes or whatever of stuff. And then pretty much just move... and Pretty much just dump them all into Windows Live, sync up the audio, and be able to time out the videos a lot better instead of just dumping it all and just hope they come out the right time so yeah but uh, right now we're just gonna chat with the crew a bit more because I believe we do have to chat with them <laughs> alright I'm gonna talk to Car for now yes, what's on your mind? see if he accepts my love tell me why you went revenge why you want revenge on Saul so badly I already told you he betrayed us all just seems to be more personal than that is all. Well, there there is more to it. I'm I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I asked, didn't I? It's just a, I don't talk about it very much. Okay. I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a a, a wife and a son on Telos. Nothing to be safe you here. you had a wife. Force arrived too late to be of much help. We we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was was burning and the dying were. Everywhere. Had a wife. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that th they didn't come in time. Oh, okay, that's good. I mean, that's terrible. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Of course not. How could you? I I, mean, I had nothing left after that. Really, I I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. <laughs> And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. So, what was she like, your wife? She had courage, and she was stubborn. <laughs> A little bit like you in that respect. Never talked her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. And I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. Um, so what happened to your son? You didn't say? His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, that's the story, for what it's worth. Fair enough. Or, thank you for telling me. No, just fair enough. I that was shit. I just picked one. Talked about it before anyone. Whatever. I it's time I finally did. I don't think either one matters. Alright, we talk to... Shit, I kinda don't feel like talking to the crew right now. But let's just see what Jolie has to say and we just go. Got something on your, mind, do you? you never did actually say why you decided to come with me. No, I never did, did I? Nope. You know, I don't have to take you with me. Do you? This part of the galaxy without me. But, but, uh, don't answer that. At any rate, I'm pretty sure I can. Why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. Move on to where? Oh, you looked plenty happy there to me. You live in an overgrown stump with a tax beating down your door, and you tell me how happy you would be. I was pleased just to have visitors. So many kilometer high trees can you find it interesting before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And there's all the critters and the shit. That may be true. I'm just happy to be back in space doing something new. Is that too much to ask? You could do that on your own. So I could. Not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit. For all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help destiny. You know what my destiny is? Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something 
something is very dark about you. But yeah. I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. You got that right. I have enough Jedi watching me. Well, I for one am quite content to let you make your own mistakes. Just because I want to see where this ends up doesn't mean I need to tell you how to get there. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> and that can't be all bad. Nomi? Who's Nomi? Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have. And she she hot? The greatest Jedi ever. Or five, my lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, you'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Yeah. So you're along as some kind of observer. Nonsense. If I ever refuse to help you when you ask, how confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! Hey, that's mean. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna go. We'll just go. Because I don't really feel like making another 30, 40 minute video of me just talking to uh, party members. Alright, we're gonna take Jolie and the usual. Yeah. That's good. I just realized I had to use the star map. I'm an idiot. Fuck it. Alright, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna use the star map, and then we're gonna head off to... Uh, what do we have left? We're gonna head off to Corbin, yeah. More cutscenes you can't see. Oh shit! Interdictor ship. They must be <laughs> <laughs> Dick. In the hyperspace room. We're caught in their tractor beam. You recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saw Karras vessel. My old mentor. Mm -mm. Just more I shit. Basically, we're know. being drawn in by this big ass I ship. Uh, I wish I could show you guys these cutscenes, but uh, I can't. Saw Carrot's flagship was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. This is your chance to avenge the deaths of your family. That is not the way of the Jedi. Shut up, Masla. I'm not gonna Meh. do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away. Vengeance! Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. We can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carrot doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us can stage a rescue. Just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but that's our only hope. Um, Admiral Kareth will be watching us, watching the three of us very closely. One of the others is going to have to save us. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Uh, we'll take time. <coughs> This sounds like a job for a Wookiee. I'm gonna say that. Is that wise? We need someone inconspicuous for this task, and Wookiees tend to draw a lot of attention, especially from the mm -hmm. Maybe you should go with someone else. Damn. <laughs> uh, it's funny that they make uh, that they let you choose that. I'm gonna pick five. A droid would have best chance. HK47 could come and rescue us. 
disruption includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. Order the Sith disassemble you before you res your reserve power supply kicks in. Answer. That is possible. My reserve power supply is a prototype yet to be tested, yet I can attempt this task if you wish. Um. Okay, we'll give it a try. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. I think it's another cutscene. I hope not. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled hunter killer droid in the back of the ship. Excellent. We can reprogram this droid to fight in our own army. Wipe its memory chip and take it to the salvage shop. The technicians will deal with it later. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man. Well, that I thank you. Of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath. As will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the Dark Side. For the right offer, I could pa probably be convinced to join the Sith. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just kill you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture field. We will. We what? <laughs> Please, man, stop this. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat 